So today we're at uh, Galbali village in Carnlock. So it's known as the Hidden Village. Um, and I think on records it showed in 1885, 1841 on the census that there were 65 people lived here at one time. And then the last remaining person was a monk, but he died in 2013 and he was the last remaining occupant in the village. So we're just walking around the houses here now and it's totally epic. You know, the scenery and stuff behind us, you can see the cliffs and it's just so quiet and you can totally get a feel of how it would have been to live here. But we're totally thrilled to find as well. You can see in the background, there's two Game of Thrones sets, two houses. So apparently they were used in seasons five and six. So when I go home, I'm gonna look up the scenes and see what they were like inside. But um, yeah, pretty cool to find those. So we'll go around the rest of the village now and uh, let you see what there is. So this one um, looks like it's been burnt. So maybe there was like a fighting scene or something in the Game of Thrones and I think it's purposely be done because there's fencing and stuff around them to kind of keep them protected. But the gates are open, so we'll see if this one's open and we can get a wee look inside. So it's, I think it's supposed to be season four and five they use this wee house in Game of Thrones. I'll have to watch it and see. It's just amazing. I'm trying to visualise what 60 odd people would be in a place like this. Kind of would be quite a lot, wouldn't it? Be a busy wee community. It's just so atmospheric, isn't it? And normally I wouldn't go for, you know, houses that would be quite as ruinous. But these have loads of character, don't they? I think this one looks like the last one that the monk might have lived in because it looks quite newish. It even has windows. This is just like a wee shed or something. Probably a wee animal shed, wouldn't it be? You can just imagine like wee pigs and goats and stuff flying about in there. Yeah, so apparently they had no running water either in the village. Um, but the looks of it, I don't think they had electric either. So, it would have been quite hard. I suppose maybe they had a water source coming from that waterfall. You can see it up there. See it at the very top. Oh, maybe it was where they got their water from. The one's open. Wow. So you probably would have had a family in here, maybe living, what, six people anyway? No upstairs either. Apparently none of the houses had any upstairs, apart from the monk's house was the only one with a second floor. Be a bit cramped, wouldn't it? Compared to the rest of the houses, it looks quite modern. Yeah. You'd maybe think, what, 1940s? It's well boarded up. Even double glazed. Well, two of the front windows are double glazed. The one on the end is wooden. Oh, watch, there's a big... Oh, there's a door. I wonder. Is it open? No, it's definitely locked. Raging. No one home. And all the hay, like I wonder why that's all here. That's like a thatched roof, isn't it? Old ladders and stuff. Is that an old tile? Yeah, it's like um, from an old dinner plate, isn't it? 
blue pattern was quite common in like 70s and 80s. Mm. I think that's what that is. What a lovely site though, even for to rebuild. Like you'd give your right arm to live here, wouldn't you? So I read a story online as well, it's also known as Roberts Village. So apparently whenever they were building the coast road, which is just down there, um, a lot of the villagers would have gone down and robbed the men that were working on the roads. But then they also said it was because they were desperate for money and because the farming wasn't working anymore. And um, they didn't really have any other options. But I don't know if it's true or not. I wonder what the two wee square holes were for in the fireplace. That would have been like a big stove or, uh, you know, they would have cooked off it. So that's us finished with the Hidden Village. It was a really good explore, um, all the way individual houses and each of them had their own wee bits of character to add. So I've been wanting to come here for years and I kept seeing people, you know, go on in photographs and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to visit today. So I'm glad I did and I hope you like the video and the pictures that will come from it. On to the next one. Mm -hmm.